Hey everyone, Katherine King here and ready for another installment of What Did I Haul? And today it's Ella After. The only one I have to blame for this order is you, Patrice. It's because I watch your love of Ella After and I could not help myself. But let me tell you guys, all my U.S. watchers, this box, which is a, what is it, a large flat rate, regional B flat rate box. And it's filled. Um... $25 international shipping, guys. 25 bucks. That's it. $25. I just placed another order a couple days ago and I paid $15 for shipping within the U.S. $25. This box is full for international shipping. Craziness. So, yes, of course, I placed a second order. So, let's go through. Patrice, this is all on you, girl. I blame you. So as I open this, I hope you're sitting over there saying, got another U.S. person. All right. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody, by the way. Oh, you know what? Okay, so you want to know something funny? Um, I have red nail polish on, and of course I put it away. It's just red. It's a red nail polish by KL Polish, and KL isn't even out there anymore. She changed it to Lights Lacquer. But I left... I did them all red, but this one, my husband went, looked at me and goes, did you run out of red? And I was like, well, no. Did you forget to paint that finger red? And I said, no, I painted it silver. He's like, why? And I was like, cause it's my ring finger. So yeah, men, they just don't get it. It's called having fun. Anyway. I don't want you guys to see my address, but I mean, seriously, I ordered a lot. Let's get started. I'm so excited. Okay. I may or may not share some of this. Oh, and let me show you how well this is wrapped, guys. I may share some in the round robin box. I haven't decided. Look how well that's wrapped and see each one is just stuck right in there. And I just, this was a January order and then I placed, she had a February sale on a couple of the three or four, I think of the collections. So I placed an order with that as well. So depending upon how well this throws in my house that eats scent, this may be a new vendor for me. Okay, so these are four ounce bags, I believe this size. They're four ounce bags. Fun little colors. So this one is Coffee House, which is coffee, pastries, buttery maple vanilla, and coconut flakes. So she has poor date of 920 and the scent notes. Does it get any better? And I can smell it through the bag. <sighs> That's a good coffee coconut flakes. Oh man, that's a good coffee. Oh, that's a good coffee. Coffee and pastries. Seriously. Delicious. So I'm just going to be pulling these out. So if you hear rustling, sorry. Uh, Johanna, pink sugar, peppermint swizzle sticks, and vanilla smoothie. So these, um, this was port 824, which is really nice that these have a longer pour date so I can get started into melting them. Mm. Okay, this is not a clear your sinuses because, oh, I missed, did I say pink sugar? It's not a clear your sinuses peppermint. This is a smooth, sweet peppermint, little bit of the pink sugar. And the vanilla, this is a creamy, beautiful peppermint, not nose clearing for me, not nose clearing for me. Could be nose clearing for some people, not me. Okay, next one, very superstitious. Strudel, yeah, strudel and spice, pumpkin pecan, cheesecake, and waffles. Definitely pumpkin pecan waffles. 
I'm not sure I smell a cheesecake, but I can smell that strudel and the and the spice and the PPW, absolutely. Not sm sure I smell cheesecake. And that can be okay, because sometimes cheesecake is um, can be sour or whatever. Okay, next one, related to none. Blueberries and cream, French baguette, and fresh brewed coffee. Look at those fun colors. And it's a bat right there. Oh, they're all bats and a heart. Mm. Mm. First, the first thing you smell is the blueberries and cream. I think you then get that hint of almost like a mix of the French baguette and the coffee. The coffee is subtle. Oh, that's good. I love a good blueberry. You know I love a good blueberry. Okay, next one. This might be a, a bigger, no, four ounces, just bigger, um, bigger pieces. So this one, Holiday Havoc. Okay, so she's got different blends, and I haven't exactly figured out her blends yet, but On Acid is is a blend of something and I'm not sure I'm sure Patrice can mention down below what on acid means I did put it in my spreadsheet because yes I put Ella after in in the spreadsheet bible that is Catherine King's wax so Starbucks coffee on acid because she has a um something Netflix too I thought I ordered some Netflix stuff Maybe that's on my next one. But her another one of her blends is this like Netflix blend. Okay, not sure what on acid is, and it's a subtle, subtle coffee. Or it could have been that I just smelled two coffee blends. Okay, that one just smells really subtle, so I'm not exactly sure on that. All right, next one. Oh, this one's fun. Pippi which is Satsuma Orange Creamsicle Lemon and Ice Cream. Doesn't that sound like right there for me? And look at this fun thing. Different, just different fun shapes. And the bags are super heavy. I love that. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Lemon first. You'd think I'd get the Satsuma and the Orange Danish first, but... Maybe I do, because it, it is a little bit reminiscent of like a cereal blend. But I love cereal blends because I like lemons and citrus and that kind of stuff. So that's fantastic. Um, I did get a couple clamshells, which looked like they were just tucked in here. So this one's called Down the Rabbit Hole. Blueberry fritters, fruit fly on acid. I'm trying to see, it almost looks like maybe, maybe a change in the wax, I'm not sure. But anyway, Blue, blueberry, right? Yeah, I was gonna say, wait, I think I smell blueberry. Yeah, I wish I could remember what the on acid is, but that is, that's a nice blueberry. I love a good blueberry. Okay, next. Uh, six impossible things before breakfast, which is lemon fritters and whipped cream. So she does this like over pour thing. See how it's got the one color and then like this over pour. To me, it almost on this one almost looks like butter, like melted over the top. Kind of fun, huh? I, I like it. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Okay. It's more fritter heavy than lemon heavy. Let me see if I can pop this out. Her wax appears to be quite soft and I will like that when it comes to cutting and melting. Um, I'm not popping it out without getting all gooey. It smells really good. You can definitely smell lemon. It's really nice. Um, but you know, the softer the wax, the easier it is in my Scentsy warmers. So I do have a lot of non-Scentsy warmers, um, but I have a lot of Scentsy as well. So, okay, let's just keep hunting. Pumpkin sampler. This is pumpkin pralines and pretzels. And you knew I had to try something with pretzel. 
Hmm. I can definitely smell pretzel. Absolutely. But pumpkin without spice and the praline. That, that's kind of, there's no spice in that. That is just a nice creamy blend. Very nice. Okay, next one. Blueberry pumpkin passion I've had blueberry pumpkin patches before so we'll see how this one is it's fresh picked blueberries and pumpkin poured in october so all of these are are fairly old because she had a a january it was buy two get one i don't know if it was on all collections or some collections but oh no this isn't like normal blueberry pumpkin patch Hmm. It, this one's hard to describe because you don't smell blueberry and you don't smell pumpkin. You just smell this like creamy, delicious goodness. I don't know. That's different. This is like almost fresh. It's all, I swear it's almost a fresh, clean scent. I really like that. Really like that. Trying to clean it up here. All right, next one. Coconut pumpkin latte. Look at these fun shapes and colors. Okay, sweet coconut pumpkin puree, vanilla clove, and cafe, coffee lattes. Sometimes lattes can be a bit light for me, so let's see. Definite pumpkin puree. And spices. I think that's about all I'm smelling. I think it's the pumpkin puree and the vanilla clove. So that's a new one. I haven't smelled something like that before. This one is an interesting pour. Mrs. Cratchit, and it's just a little scent shot. Love Spell and Vanilla Mint. And I wanted to try something with Love Spell, but look at the pour on this. I don't think that it is like a mutated color. I just think it's just this fun color. Hmm. I don't smell vanilla mint. I think I'm smelling the love smell or the love smell, love spell, and I like it. But I'm glad I got a little bit of it so I can learn to see if I like love spell. Okay, next. Christmas yet to come. Gingerbread cookies, holiday spices, vanilla, and coffee. Oh, oh coffee. Mm, yes, coffee. Mm, that is good. So this is... I can smell the gingerbread. I can definitely smell spices and definitely smell coffee. And I do like coffee with cinnamon and stuff. Um, I think Lori does too. It's very nice. I should have brought in more to drink. All right. Next one. Christmas present, which is sugar cookies and pine. Oh, I like that. Look at that. It says love. That's a really nice pine and sugar cookie. Because to me, it's not like slap you in the face pine you get. It's like a vanilla-y kind of pie mixed with um, the sugar cookie. That's really nice. This one, though, I will probably wait until, you know, next season. Um, considering how the weather's been, I don't know. They're saying um, snow down to 2,000 feet. We live at like 1300 so anyway next one mount crumpet which is peppermint sticks marshmallow and shortbread fun little sleigh and okay so i know you've probably noticed the squidginess of the bags that's because the wax is softer and i'm loving it because it'll make it so much easier to cut no microwave needed so oh 
man, that's good. Oh, that is just creamy peppermint. I don't know. Maybe I smell shortbread, but that the peppermint sticks with the marshmallow. Mm, yum. Yum, yum. Oh, I need a lot of that. That is fantastic. Um, anyway, you know, I don't like cutting wax. So having soft wax that I can just use my hand cutter and not have to, sorry, I moved you guys, and not have to uh, microwave to cut. I'm here for it. Okay, next one. Oh, this one must be an eight pound or an eight ounce. I don't remember. I think I ended up getting a couple eight ounces because that's all she had. Yeah, so this is an eight ounce bag. This is the only eight ounce one I got. Okay, and it's called Walton. And this is icy peppermint, vanilla butter fudge, and sugar cookie. Doesn't that sound like me 100%? Okay, this is, I'm gonna admit, this is a little, a little odd. There's a hair in there. See, do you see it? Black hair. I'm glad it's not food. Yep. That's a little odd. Okay. Hmm. This is not as heavy in the peppermint as the Mount Crumpet was. But it is definitely an icy peppermint. This one was a peppermint sticks. This is definitely icy peppermint. And then you've got the vanilla butter fudge and you know I love vanilla butter fudge. That's really good, but it's more soft. It's more delicate and sweet in the scent. It'll still make a fantastic bedroom scent. Next one, Southern Oracle. And this was poured last April. So it's Southern or Tropical Suntan Lotion and Angel Food Cake. I thought this would be fun. Oh, yes. Okay. Banana sunscreen. Fantastic. Love it. Love it. I love banana y sunscreen scents. Love them. Next one Mrs. Lovett's Pie Shop, which is an uh, apple cinnamon clove, buttercream crunch cake, and pie crust. And it's got another one of those loves. So nice, pretty shapes. Cloves and cinnamon. Hint of apple. And a pastry. Okay, I'm not sure I can smell the buttercream crunch cake, but to me, it's like a beautiful, spicy apple cake. Like a, a, and a spice cake that has like chunks of apple in it. That's what this reminds me of. Okay, couple more. I told you I got a lot and I got a lot in my next one too. I can't wait for it to ship. Oh, I think that might be a sample. So, all right, this one, fruit flies on acid. So it's cookies cakes, marshmallows, Twinkies, and fudge. I don't know what part the acid part is. Okay, it's, um, it's a generic bakery. Yeah, it's a generic bakery, a very nice one. Um, this would be a fantastic blender if you're needing to calm down um, maybe another scent that might be a touch on the um, strong side, maybe too much cinnamon, too much Palo Santo, um, something like that. I think that would be wonderful with. Okay, next one, Lives of the Wicked, which is Dutch Apple Crunch Cake and Never Ending Netflix. That's it, Never Ending Netflix. That's a specific blend, like On Acid's a blend and Never Ending Netflix is a blend. 
So Patrice, if you're watching, you can let us know what those are. Or I can just look them up and then put them in the description box too. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Dutch apple crumb cake. Mmm. I love a good apple blend. I The only problem is, is I just don't know if this is going to be worthy of melting in February. But it might be because it is that good. But this is definitely something late August, September, October. Definite. Late August because I'm thinking like um, hot apple pies or, you know, that kind of thing. Yes. Oh, fantastic. I definitely need more of, I think, the Dutch apple crumb cake and then whatever the never ending Netflix is. It's fantastic. Okay. Now I think this is a sample because it's just a small little guy. And I don't think it's something I would have ordered. Cayo Coco. Pink sugared cashmere and flip flops. Yeah, definitely not something I would have ordered. It's pretty. Um, it's okay, but um, I think I'm going to put this in the round robin basket. Hmm. Whenever it comes to me. There's four of us left. So, very, very good. So, I me, mean, I'll end up having to keep the box because I'm out of storage space. Much to my husband's irritation. And it's funny because we were at the store. We have something called Fred Meyer. It's a Kroger store. So it has, it's, you know, variety and grocery. And we never go in Fred Meyer. Um, because it's always chaotic. We're Albertson shoppers. But anyway, we were in there and he's like, do you need any more like plastic tubs? And I'm like, if I buy more plastic tubs, I'll buy more wax. And then a box came a couple days later and he's like, I thought you were done buying wax. I'm like, love you, baby. So anyway, tis the life of a wax addict. That's a lot of wax from Ella After. And I don't think I spent over a hundred dollars. So her wax, great price point. It's nice and soft. We're going to see how it melts. The blends are great. Um, I'm excited to get my next order. Um, it was her, you know, the February sale order. Um, she has a coffee sampler coming up soon. I'll see. I, I'm not sure. I'm trying not to order a lot of coffee because Tim doesn't like coffee. Caitlin at work can't handle coffee. And so it really limits my ability to warm coffee because I don't like irritating people. So I don't know if I'm going to order the coffee sampler, but we'll see. Anyway, so this is what I got from Ella After. Thank you, Patrice, for bringing this vendor to our knowledge here in the United States. So... I'm excited to get the next box. I'm excited to see what other blends. I don't think I ordered any duplicates from this order. At least I tried not to because I'm trying to, to try new scents. So I'm just looking at all this wax on my table. I'm like, thanks. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.